What's up traders, Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol LCID for Lucid Group. On the left hand side we have the daily time frame and on the right hand side the 30 minute intraday time frame. First things first, this will of course be an update. We did break our fairly steep resistance trend line that we had mapped out on the chart during today's session. I believe it was this one, I removed it already. Uh, but we're really breaking it sideways through time. It's not like we just saw a you know takeoff in price action to the upside on the gap up this morning. So. All things considered, what's the plan for the rest of the week? Well, it's simply going to boil down to does this number hold or not? And that infamous number is 4262. Now, why is that the number? Well, as we discussed, big daily support from here, especially on that hammer there. And if we take a look at the Monday session after the gap down from the probe news, obviously you can see big structure there. As we started flagging above, that also held up as support once we were back above it. So 4262 remains the number to stay above as long as we're above. I would really just expect ping pong kind of in this section of the chart right here, noting that we still are in a bit of a downtrend from falling out of this overhead supply here. So again, I'm not overly bullish on the chart based on where we're at. I think it needs to do a little bit of consolidation, getting a little bit more price acceptance, building a base, and then potentially a breakout up and over that 49.50 brings us back to those highs. And as we know, 55.30 is a breakout point if we can start closing daily candles above it. The upside target is, I don't believe we actually added that back in. So let's go ahead and grab a little bit more time. Oh, we've got the time. Let's scrunch up the chart instead. And as we know, that target is up here. Again, I'm not saying that that's a likely scenario into the end of the week. As I sort of mentioned, I do believe that we get consolidation kind of in this zone, given the fact that this was a bit of an overreaction from the news, correct? However, it's still a pretty serious allegation. We are trading lower on a little bit of momentum and again, falling out of this range. I feel as though this sideways consolidation is the likely scenario. It doesn't really look like it wants to break down. I feel like if it was going to do that, this 30 minute bull flag would have resolved firmly in the intraday session underneath 4262. We'll ultimately have to see what happens. But for now, watching for ping pong in here, if I were to pick out another 30 minute intraday level, what I would give to you would be this one right about here. And the reason we're picking that quite clearly around 47 is prior lows acting as support, support, resistance. And then that was exactly where we faded off from the high of today's session. So that's my, uh, you know, intraday overhead number. I suppose the breakout for that could come up and over the dead cat bounce from the end of day here. So I'll just give you that as another just watch point. Again, this isn't a significant resistance. It's just something to pay. I guess actually it might be. And we're getting fairly nuanced at this point, putting so many levels on the chart. But you can see, again, if you make pretend and extend that off to the left, what I'm getting at here is it was the sort of gatekeeper into the afternoon support from the Monday end of day resistance from the Monday morning and also support from in the past here. So 44, 30, 44 quarter ish, somewhere in there, a break takes us to here and potentially after that to the bottom end of the prior consolidation range. So again, I would expect chop around some of these levels sideways activity. We'll see what happens, but ultimately the number to hold is still going to be 4262 inside of lucid. That's really going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it today or learned anything new, let me know in the comments section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.